Shortly I'll be conducting my own podcast, focusing mainly upon feminism in recent times to educate and inform my listeners. I will be discussing topics surrounding feminism, such as gender identity issues, the LGBT community, and any political issues surrounding feminism. Most other feminist podcasts have a female lead and are focused around empowering women, only having women as their target audience. I would hope to inform viewers and give my own opinions on the aforementioned topics to avoid any sexist remarks or a biased opinion. I would have a male counterpart and two female counterparts also discussing these issues and voicing their own opinions to counterbalance my own. An example of a similar product to that of my own would be The Guilty Feminist, a podcast hosted by Deborah Francis where she discusses her own issues and what it is like to be a 21st century feminist. The episodes range around 45 minutes each, and each episode shows a range of guest stars who help discuss issues and move the podcast along. The podcast received one award for the best radio comedy of 2016 by the Writers Guild. I hope to record my podcast in a similar way, this, this being in one sitting with no visuals. However, this may change so that I can upload the podcast to YouTube, as well as SoundCloud and any other radio, audio sources. Whilst looking through the podcast list for The Guilty Feminist, it is apparent that there is more female guests than male guests. This may be because males are typically less interested in topics surrounding women, as it is vice versa. I would hope to break this trend by having both males and females on the podcast, both discussing the same issues. My target audience is teenagers of both genders, where I'd be mainly informing my viewers, trying to give them an insight on modernised issues surrounding feminism, hopefully reducing the confusion surrounding fourth-way feminism. I feel that the guilty feminist appeals to a much broader female audience of an older generation, for example 20 years older onwards. This differs from that of my own, as I'm trying to appeal to teenagers in secondary school and sixth form to help re- remove the confusing confusion surrounding feminism. Another example of a similar product would be The History Chicks, another podcast hosted by Beckett Graham and Susan Vollenweider. The two women make references to books, interviews and biographies, trying to educate listeners about importance of women throughout history. This holds a similar intention to that of my own, as they are trying to educate the viewer. However, the key difference is that they are focusing upon women of the past, while I will be focusing upon more present and occurring events. Another key difference between my show and the History Chicks is that I will have four hosts, two male and two female, whereas they only have two, both of whom are female. The History Chicks is recording in one sitting, the same to that of my own. What works well about their podcast is that it educates the viewer and informs them of past events which have left a lasting impact. I hope to do a similar thing only to inform the viewer of ongoing events. I think their target audience would be older women, so around 30 years old onwards, as they would be most interested in the podcast. My podcast will try to do a similar thing to the History Chicks by educating the listeners and hoping that it keeps them interested for a return on a later episode. However, I will do many things differently by voicing both a male and female opinion, by having multiple hosts of both genders, and focusing mainly on nowadays issues, as opposed to issues that were present many years ago. Although these may be talked about to justify points made. I'll be mainly using articles online and any news stories which have surfaced, which differs mainly from the history chicks who use documents from many years ago. I feel as if my podcast will be as successful as the two podcasts discussed, in maintaining and achieving their main intentions. In my podcast, I will try to add sections for each topic, as gender identity issues are rising both online and politically, as there is rallies and more and more posts online. I will try to dedicate a portion of the podcast to this topic. Another key topic would be part of the LGBT community, as gender issues link into this. Part of the gender identity issues, um, many fourth-wave feminists believe that there are approximately 64 genders. So I present this idea to my co-hosts and ask their thoughts and opinions on this. The final key topic would be the idea of post-feminist. A post-feminist is somebody who believes that feminism is not as necessary as it was around 20 years ago, as there were much more present issues, like extreme sexist remarks, as opposed to man spreading on a train. I would dedicate a portion of my show to these individual topics as I think they deserve as much attention to get an accurate opinion from each of my co-hosts. I think this is where my podcast begins to stand out opposed to the other two discussed podcasts, as I will be focused upon these key topics, whereas the other two podcasts discuss either their own issues or past issues.